Hey guys, Jeff here, and I'm calling this video Quotes from the Men Who Shaped the World. It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Aristotle. Education is what remains after one has forgotten what one has learned in school. Albert Einstein. Therefore, I would not have it unknown to your holiness that the only thing which induced me to look for another way of reckoning the movements of the heavenly bodies was that I knew that mathematicians by no means agree in their investigation thereof. Nicholas Copernicus. This most beautiful system of the sun, planets, and comets could only proceed from the counsel and dominion of an intelligent and powerful being, Sir Isaac Newton. Two things are infinite, the universe and human stupidity, and I'm not sure about the universe. Albert Einstein. So far as hypotheses are concerned, let no one expect anything certain from astronomy which cannot furnish it, lest he accept as the truth ideas conceived for another purpose and depart from this study a greater fool than when he entered it. Nicholas Copernicus. Today's scientists have substituted mathematics for experiments, and they wander off through equation after equation, and eventually build a structure which has no relation to reality. Nikola Tesla If the facts don't fit the theory, change the facts. Albert Einstein There are more sure marks of authenticity in the Bible than in any profane history whatsoever. Sir Isaac Newton Science without religion is lame. Religion without science is blind. Albert Einstein Finally, we shall place the sun himself at the center of the universe. Nicholas Copernicus What are the stars, said O'Brien indifferently? They are bits of fire a few kilometers away. We could reach them if we wanted to, or we could blot them out. The earth is the center of the universe. The sun and the stars go around it. For certain purposes, of course, that is not true. When we navigate the ocean, or when we predict an eclipse, we often find it convenient to assume that the earth goes around the sun, and that the stars are millions upon millions of kilometers away. But what of it? Do you suppose it is beyond us to produce a dual system of astronomy? The stars can be near or distant, according as we need them. Do you suppose our mathematicians are unequal to that? Have you forgotten double-think? George Orwell, 1984